Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello Halal Family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful day In today's video guys We'll be reacting to the incredible Indonesian Rupaya This video was suggested by Eko Santoso The video is by Half Asleep uh, Chris And the link to the video is in the description below In case you guys wanted to uh, check it out So stay tuned guys We'll be right back with the video Welcome back guys, inshallah we're going to get started with the video momentarily and at the end of the video I'll be sharing with you my observation and reaction so please make sure you stay until the end. With that said, let's get started with the video. When I was in Indonesia, I remember going to an ATM and withdrawing 1 million Indonesian rupiah. 1 million. I was a millionaire. For context, this is what that looks like. In reality, it's not nearly as much money as it sounds. About 53 pounds sterling or 71 US dollars. But these banknotes are glorious nonetheless, and the country has just released a highly unusual 75,000 rupiah note to celebrate the 75th anniversary of its independence. So pack your bags and join me as we travel to Indonesia to become millionaires and take a closer look at their wonderful banknotes. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Let's begin with the standard notes, released in 2016, with the front of each bearing the theme of national heroes. Whilst in Western culture, the term national hero is often thrown around quite haphazardly. Here it's an official title, the single highest title given out by the Indonesian government. It's reserved for those who perform deeds, which can be remembered and exemplified for all time by other citizens. Usually those who fought against colonialism, died defending the nation, or made achievements to develop and progress the nation. The 1000 sees Chut Mutia, known for her resistance of the Dutch colonisation of Aceh, the westernmost province of the country. She was eventually captured and killed, but today remains a symbol of pride, particularly for Indonesian women. The 2000 features Mohamed Husni Tamrin, a leading political figure and activist again in the fight against Dutch rule, proposing that the name Dutch Indies be swapped for Indonesia. Tamarin tragically died in prison, just four years before Indonesia's eventual independence in 1945, Dr. Idam Khalid can be seen on the 5000, a politician and minister having held several high up government positions, including Speaker of the People's Representative Council and Chairman of the People's Consultative Assembly, whilst the 10,000 sees Franz Kaisiepo, fourth governor of the Papua province, declared a national hero for his lifelong mission of uniting Western New Guinea with Indonesia. Next up, the bright green 20,000 features Sam Ratulangi, the first governor of Sulawesi and committee member who ratified Indonesia's constitution upon independence. Whilst the bright blue 50,000 portrays Juanda Kotawi Jeje, the country's 10th and final prime minister before switching to presidents. And lastly, for the standard notes at least, the 100,000 features both the country's first president and vice president, Sukarno and Mohamed Hatta respectively, both of whom prominently fought for Indonesia's independence from the Dutch. It's these two figures who can be seen again on the new 75,000 note, but more on that later. Each note features a watermark, although they don't appear to be of the national hero on the note, and I couldn't find any information whatsoever on who they are. As well as the national heroes, all notes feature the country's national emblem above the note's year of issue and a map of the country, although the map's located at the bottom of the 100,000. And in this vertical box towards the bottom right can be seen a batik pattern, an Indonesian style of dyeing cloth. This pattern differs from note to note, with the 5,000 portraying a mangrove root batik design for instance, whilst the 50,000 is intended to resemble clouds. The patterns can be further seen in the background, behind the portraits on each note. But it's not just meaningful national symbols. The notes contain a number of security features designed to make them difficult to counterfeit. First up, there's my favourite feature, UV ink. Each note comes to life with colour when exposed to ultraviolet light, oh, wow. most notably seeing their batik designs vibrantly glow. It's perhaps most impressive on the 50,000, which sees the cloud pattern revealed in greater detail, or the 2,000, which sees the map of Indonesia shine most brightly. On the left of each note, the denomination becomes visible beside the initials BI, standing for Bank Indonesia, and on the 1, 2, 5 and 10,000 notes, a coloured strip appears, again reading BI and the denomination. Next there's microprint, tiny writing that can be found hidden across each note, almost impossible to see with the naked eye. On most of the notes, it can be seen in these circular edges around the portraits, simply reading BI and the denomination. But on the 100,000, it can be found in the numbers at the top left, again reading BI100 in a chequered pattern. 
There's a see-through register, this weird symbol here, which is actually half of Bank Indonesia's logo, with the other half printed on the reverse. When held up to light, the image completes, meaning the note is most likely genuine. There's a Orion constellation. These tiny rings or donuts that printers and computer software detect to prevent the banknote being photocopied. There's an embossed number representing the denomination in the upper right corner of each note, and in the vertical box containing the batik can be seen a latent image with the initials BI. The larger three denominations feature the bank's logo in colour variable ink, whilst the larger two both feature metallic security fibres. And finally, all notes feature these strange lines on their edges. First, they're a tactile feature to help the blind or partially sighted distinguish between each note. Notice how there's only one set of lines on the 100,000, right up to seven on the 1,000. But they also double up as a security feature. If you bend each note like this, you can perfectly connect the lines on either edge. Counterfeiters often have trouble replicating this. Now it's time to turn these notes over. Whilst the front has a single theme of national heroes, the back features three themes, flowers, important sites, and dances. The 1000 sees Fort Belgica on the island of Banda Naira between two Cocktown orchids and a Tifa dance. Certain design elements glow under UV light, most notably the serial numbers. The 2000 displays the impressive Cyanoc Canyon, Magnolia Champaca flower and appearing dancer, and again simply sees various existing elements glow. Wow. Mount Bromo, an active volcano in East Java, can be seen on the 5000, besides the Tuberos and Gambiong dancer. Under UV light, the flowers glow, and a box with the initials BI becomes visible. The 10,000 portrays the Wakatobi National Park, a marine national park and world heritage site, alongside a Magnolia Vriziana and Pacarina dancer. This note is by far the most interesting under ultraviolet light, seeing some clownfish glow as well as what I believe to be a Tarsia, although I couldn't find a source for that. The 20,000 sees the Derawan Islands and a green sea turtle, plus a type of orchid with a really long Latin name and a gong dancer. A rhinoceros hornbill becomes visible in UV light, and the metallic strip glows in multiple colours. The 50,000 bears the world-famous Komodo National Park, but slightly disappointingly no dragons, besides the Plumeria and Legon Dancer. UV light reveals what I believe to be some kind of finch, although again I couldn't find a source. And finally, the 100,000 sees the beautiful Raja Ampat Islands, alongside a moon orchid and Topeng Batawi Dancer. Once again, I couldn't find a source, but I believe under UV light, this bird is an eastern osprey. Plus, on the left, we see a somewhat adorable night sky. Now, I'll be honest, most of the world's banknotes feature places of national importance, and a great deal feature native flowers. But featuring national dances is really quite unusual and probably my favourite part of these banknotes, offering a really unique insight into Indonesia's culture. But all that said, these notes are completely eclipsed by the brand new 75,000 rupiah. This note is incredible. It was released to mark 75 years of independence, and as such is largely themed around that, as well as some of the major technological achievements of the country in those years. Firstly, there's Sukarno and Mohamed Hatta, the first president and vice president seen on the 100,000, who were prominent figures in the fight for independence. To their left can be seen the flag hoisting ceremony from the Declaration of Independence, and below them a train from the Jakarta MRT, or subway. Further right can be seen the marvellous Utefa Bridge, partially seen on the left of the note with the image completing as a security feature. And above it is a section of the Trans-Java Toll Road, a 725 mile road that spans the length of the island of Java. The note bears many similarities with the standard notes, including the national emblem, year of issue, batik patterns, latent image, watermark, see-through register, microprint and tactile line, as well as a pair of cool new features. First, there's a holographic strip which appears to move as you move the note, and then there's a similar design in the bottom left that alternates between gold and green. The front doesn't really do anything under UV light, which is a tremendous shame, but it's a pretty impressive banknote otherwise. The reverse is slightly more interesting under UV, seeing a batik design, a yellowy strip, and the initials NKRI, or Nagara Kasatuan Republic Indonesia, the country's full name. In ordinary light, we see a group of children in traditional Indonesian clothes. This kid in the middle was actually the subject of quite some controversy, with many people claiming he was dressed in Chinese clothes, not Indonesian. However, this is completely false, and Bank Indonesia even issued a statement saying as much. 
Above them is a Meraputi satellite, launched in 2018 at a cost of 165 million US dollars, which equates to an astounding 2.3 trillion Indonesian rupiah, in front of a globe with Indonesia highlighted in gold ink. Again, the satellite is partly printed on the bottom of the note, and can be bent to complete the image. If I were to bend it that way, it would likely permanently misshape the note, so instead I'll demonstrate with the second note. Similarly, the batik pattern on the far left and far right join up, which I'll demonstrate with the third and fourth note. So you're probably wondering why I have so many of these notes, especially given that only a limited number were printed, available at only 45 banks across the country, and strictly limited to one per citizen. Well, it's because I'm giving five of them away over on my Instagram, at Chris. so head over there now for a chance to add one to your collection. The Indonesian rupiah really are beautiful banknotes. With their striking colours, national heroes and national dances, these notes so perfectly capture and celebrate what makes Indonesia great. Yeah, I think I have it to give it uh, to Indonesian uh, rupiah for sure. It's one of the coolest uh, banknotes. Uh, I've never seen anything similar to to this. Basically, there's so many security features, and uh, you know, ultraviolet light and the strips and the, all these images. It was cool because under black light, you see like uh, the image of like a bird show up where you can't see it with the naked eye. It's, interesting really really nice and uh, then the 75,000 uh, rupiah they um, introduced it in 2020 because of the 75th uh, independence um, of indonesia which is uh, really awesome because it was just uh, this year so really interesting video guys i enjoyed it quite a bit thank you very much for suggesting it i hope you guys enjoyed it too if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video please put in the comment section below as always guys terry marquez here thank you very much for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care